Determining where you want to locate your business will consist of many factors. Gales Demographics Now provides a quick and accurate solution on several of these factors that should be considered before a decision is made. Let's walk through exactly how Demographics Now can help. First, this tutorial builds upon several others, specifically the sizing your market and finding your competition tutorials, and then adds in a demographic assessment to point you to the decision that will normally favor one location over another. If you have not viewed both of those tutorials, please close this one and view the other two first. For this tutorial, we are considering two different locations to locate our business, which is a coin-operated laundromat. The two locations under evaluation represent two vacant storefronts that are available for lease. To start, let's make a list of the factors we should consider when selecting one location over another and place them on a single sheet of paper from which to compare as we progress towards a decision. Let's start by typing in the two locations we are considering at the top of the page, Exposition Boulevard and West Boulevard. Both of these are in Los Angeles, California. First, let's list the information which is not available within Demographics Now, but which should be considered. These are things like monthly rent, lease improvements to make it business ready. This could be adding plumbing, fixtures, and these types of things, traffic, and finally zoning restrictions, local laws, and any other significant factor to consider. Next, let's list the specific items we can find within demographics now that also may factor into our decision. This would be market size the number and size of competitors in the area, how many similar businesses went out of business in the area. In effect, this is a helpful measure of risk, since although there may be many reasons why these businesses failed, certainly the location may have been a factor. And finally, we will look at customer demographics, and the items we include here may differ based on the type of business you are opening. So let's return to demographics now and collect the data for market size. First, we select looking for demographics. And enter in the geography of the first location for five minutes drive time. And we will select the summary report for Consumer Expenditure, CEX, Apparel Detail Summary Report. At the top of the report, we make note that there are 14,881 households within this geography. And next, we scroll down to get the dollars consumed per household for this location, which is $40.93 per household. We also want the same two numbers for the 2000 West Boulevard location, so we change the geography and find the number of households in this area. Let's return to our single sheet of paper and enter these amounts in the market size row. For 1025 Exposition, we enter $40.93 spent on coin-operated laundry times, the number of households of 14881 and come up with a market size of $609,000. For 2000 West Boulevard, we have $53.71 times 16,269 households for a market size of 874000 Again, please watch the Sizing Your Market tutorial as we cover these steps in more detail in that tutorial if you have trouble following how this was done. Let's return to Demographics Now and get the data on competitors. We select the Business Households tab. Click on Business Custom Search and then expand the business type by clicking on the down arrow next to it. Then select keyword SIC NAICS, click the radio button for search primary NAICS only, 
and then type in COIN and hit LOOKUP to get a list of related NAICS codes. Click on 812-310 for COIN-operated laundries and dry cleaners, and then click on Special Selects and Out of Business to exclude companies that have gone out of business. Next, click on View Results for a list of current businesses around the West Boulevard address that are potential competitors to your business. From the list, we see that there are nine businesses that are potential competitors in this geographic area, as well as their relative size in terms of annual sales volume and number of employees. We make note of this to add to our analysis sheet of paper, but before doing that, we need the same information for the 1025 exposition location. So we close the list by clicking on the red X in the upper right side of the view. And click on the down arrow in the geography box to switch over to that location. Demographics Now will save your last five geography searches, so there's no need to type that location in again. Simply click on View Results and a list of potential competitors will be shown for the exposition location on the screen. From the list, we see that there are six businesses that are potential competitors in this geographic area, as well as their relative size in terms of annual sales volume and number of employees. Let's return to our analysis and enter this information in the appropriate area. For exposition, there are six competitors with total sales of $1.1 million. And for the West location, there are nine competitors with sales of around $1.3 million. There is a difference between the market size and the competitor sales because these competitors are also drawing business from outside the five-minute drive time around our location. You can see this more clearly by mapping the competitor locations. Again, this is shown in the Finding Your Competition tutorial. To complete this analysis, let's return to Demographics Now and get information on similar companies that have gone out of business. We have the Exposition Location Competitors location on the screen, so let's close this by clicking on the red X in the upper right side of the view. We then just click Companies Out of Business radio button and then on View Results to get this list for exposition. We note that two coin-operated laundries have gone out of business. Let's check the West Boulevard location by closing this list by clicking on the red X in the upper right side of this view. And click on the down arrow in the geography box to switch over to the West Boulevard location. Simply click on View Results and a list of companies that have gone out of business will be shown for the West Boulevard location on the screen. From that list, we see that there was only one business. Let's return back to our analysis and enter this information in the appropriate area. For exposition, there were two companies that went out of business. And for the West location, there was only one. This information is important from assessing risk, since if more companies go out of business in one location than another, it indicates more risk in one location over another, even though we do not know why they specifically went out of business. The last thing we will look at is customer demographics, so let's return once more to the demographics now and access that information for these two separate locations. We still have the West Boulevard location out of business company on the screen, so let's close this by clicking on the red X in the upper right side of this view. Next, click on the Demographics tab. And instead of listing reports one at a time, let's take a shortcut by looking at them at the same time. We do this by clicking on the Geography menu button. Click on the down arrow next to I would like to and select Enter an address and then type in the exposition address. We could have copied this and then pasted it to save additional time, but either way is acceptable. Then hit OK and OK again to close the geography menu.
One last thing, the product automatically changed our distance to miles from drive time, so we need to change that back to drive time. And finally, we select the demographic detail comparison report, and we see that the report includes both locations. You can add additional locations this way if you are interested in additional comparisons for any report in the drop-down menu. You may elect to view multiple demographic reports and pull other information that may vary based on the type of business you are looking for. For this tutorial, let's take a look at renter-occupied housing and average household income. The thought being that renters use coin-operated laundromats more than homeowners and the fact that the more money a household has, the more likely they are likely to spend on these services. We can see that the percentage of renter-occupied housing is 75 and 62 percent, respectively, and the average household income is $35,960 and $52,064. Let's add this to our summary page. We will add renter-occupied housing to the Customer Demographics category with 75.3% for Exposition and 62% for West Boulevard. Next, we will add the average household income. Again, it is worth mentioning here that you may select different demographic indicators depending upon your type of business. So let's take a look at what we have now. As far as market size goes, West Boulevard is nearly 45% larger than Exposition, so the advantage goes to West Boulevard. In terms of competition, Exposition has three less competitors. However, there are sales are nearly equal. So we'll give the Exposition a vote here, although it's a close one. In terms of business failures, West Boulevard has one less, but not much difference here either. Finally, in terms of customer demographics, Exposition has the edge in renter-occupied housing, but West Boulevard is better in terms of average household income. In conclusion, from this analysis, the better location looks to be West Boulevard. However, there is still some information missing on rental costs, lease improvements, and zoning. But I think you will agree that Demographics Now will have been helpful in making this decision easier once all of the information is filled in.